I'm a suspect. suspect. Hanging with the killers in the projects. Tato on the barrel, keep quiet. Catch a nigga slipping from behind. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. OG, Bobby, Josh. My loves, it's me, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I'm here with this week's All Tea, All Shade, Love and Marriage DC, Season 2, Episode 10 review. Tonight was the season finale, and I must say, they went out with a bang. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Got a lot to say. Let's get it. Let's go. The episode kicks off with Ashley telling Alicia and Quick what happened between her and Joy at Winter's Romancipation event and how she wasn't ready to talk to her yet. And hadn't accepted her apology. Ashley in her confessional says, I'm upset this is lingering on for so long. I thought this would be something we could talk about, but it's lingering on and now I'm annoyed. And that's rich to me. And just so funny that you're annoyed that you did something to hurt somebody else. And because they're not moving on your time of forgiving, you're annoyed. Once again, going back to what I stated on last week's episode, that your apology wasn't for joy. It was for you. It was for you. Like this has nothing to do with joy and her feelings. You did you apologize to make yourself feel better about the messed up thing that you did. Quick and Alicia then tell her just to leave the situation alone and wait till she comes to her. So Ashley then says, well, moving forward, if I say we should reach out to Joy, be like, absolutely not. And see, once again, if you were really sincere about your apology, then why are you mad? <laughs> I'm so confused. How are you upset? That you did something to offend her. Like make it make sense home girl. Like this episode really solidified that Ashley is a kid. <laughs> She's a kid. Like really honestly true. She is a kid in a grown woman's body. So Irena visits Joy at her crib. And she asks her how she's been ever since the situation with her and Ashley and you know at first she was like oh I'm good and she was like no you're not she was like well you know I'm still upset and in her confessional Joy says I'm still completely pissed that she told Alicia in her confessional one of the producers asked Joy why did you keep it a secret that you're already married and Joy says we've been planning a public ceremony for the world because that's something Clifton wanted but we were supposed to share that when we wanted to um, ma'am, at this point, just admit that y'all came into this season saying that that was going to be y'all storyline. That was y'all storyline. Y'all preparing for this wedding. You having issues about walking down the aisle because your father has passed away. You not wanting a big wedding. You just wanting something for the two of you, something small. Y'all disagreeing on the um size of the wedding. That was your storyline because you all went into this with a calculated um execution of how you were going to present yourselves on this show and it ended up backfiring because you two well not you two because joy couldn't keep her lips closed and not tell her co-stars her big secret you probably could have got away with it if you wouldn't have done that or unless somebody would have went and actually tried to look up your marriage information you would have got away with it but that was y'all plan to use that as a storyline so y'all wouldn't have to focus on any other aspects of y'all lives that you didn't want to be made public and Ashley blasted you she did and you have nobody but yourself to blame but at this point she needs to just, they both need to just keep it a hundred at this point and just say what it is because we all know what it is. She and Irena take a seat on the couch and Irena asks, when are y'all going to have a conversation? And Joy was like, when I'm ready. <laughs> so Irena was like, I feel like I'm going to be like in the middle. Ashley doesn't want me to be because she doesn't want me to pick sides. And Joy was like, you know, I'm thankful that she showed me who she is. I don't think she feels bad about what she said I think she feels bad because she knows she shouldn't have said it and Joy reiterates that she's not coming to Ashley and Quick's holiday party and at this point I feel like she has a right to feel the way that she does she's not letting it go she's not over it she's not ready to talk and I feel like she has every right to do so when 
she's ready, especially when she was the one that was done wrong and in such a big way. This wasn't no small thing. This was something that was said off of camera and was, you know, she said that she wasn't going to say nothing. Now, at the same token, I, like I said, I'm looking at Joy and Clifton sideways because y'all came on here to give y'all reality and then y'all didn't give y'all whole reality. You came in calculated with a plan. And when you do that, it backfires on you and it turns the viewers off when it comes to you. So now the viewers don't trust you moving forward. If you continue to stay on the show, then we not going to know what's real and what's fake when it comes to you. And that's not fair. If you're going to do reality television, do reality television, point blank and the period. Uh, quick finds out that, you know, he's okay at this point. They still couldn't figure out where the hiccups was coming from. And hopefully he continues to have good health, but he needs to learn how to slow down and take better care of himself. Joy meets with her girl, Danielle, to vent about this situation with Ashley. And Joy in her confessional says, I never called Ashley and Alicia fake and phony. The confusion came from their relationship with Sherelle. They were joning on the girl, talking about her wig. And that is why I was like, it may appear or could come across as fake or phony semantics <laughs> semantics you felt like they were being fake and phony because they was talking about that girl but yet and still hanging around her and laughing and grinning in her face girl semantics you called them fake and phony you called them fake and phony don't try to skip and dance around the subject you called them fake and phony and that's fine because that is fake and phony you know what i'm saying like y'all making fun of this girl talking bad about her but yet and still you grinning and skinning all up in her face Fake and phony. Stand on it. It's, it's not a problem. Do that. Joy tells her homegirl, I don't know where I stand with Ashley. I've been very nice. Very, very nice. And homegirl was like, well, stop being nice. I think you should have a talk to her. A talk with her. And she was like, you know what? I will. Now, Irena has this woman who is a swallowologist. <laughs> I've heard it all. Come to her house to teach her and Jamie how to perform oral on each other baby i have heard of everything a swallowologist i mean what's next jesus what is next y'all got a name for everything now i i just lord what happened to you just putting in a, a vhs tape <laughs> what happened to the dvds heck you could go on you know, the hub <laughs> for free and learn. Like, what is going on, Jesus? Y'all been married for 95 years and y'all don't know how to please each other. Like, couples literally be in all in long-term relationships for years and are afraid to speak up and say what it is you like and what you don't like. Y'all done farted, had babies around each other, boo-booed and sickness and health. And you can't say, I don't like when you move your mouth that way or when you stroke it like that. Come on, people. Come on. We are all grown adults. But I guess it's better later than never, child. So the lady talks to them. And Irena says that she doesn't really like to receive. That's not something that she's into, I guess, because he doesn't do it right. And she never told him that she, you know, felt that way. He says that, you know, she's okay at, you know, giving him oral, but she's not the best at it. So the swallowologist has Irena suck on his finger like she was, you know, performing on him. They didn't show it, of course, because this just team too much. And I don't want to see it, Jesus. Didn't even want to see this scene. Didn't even want to talk about it. Just did not. Did not. Because, hell, Irena, you could have DM'd me. I could have showed you. <laughs> I could have showed you what to do, girl. I am a queen at that. I am the king, honey. I win every time. I would have showed you how to work that thing, honey. Work it and jerk it and up, 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 break it, girl. I would have showed you how to put it in between your cha-chas, honey. Baby, girl, we would have had a good time, honey. So she then has uh, Jamie, um, girl, I guess lick on her um, knuckle. <laughs> I can't, Jesus. 
so he can learn, you know, how to stimulate her in between her legs, baby. And I'm just like, oh my God, this is just ridiculous. But baby, whatever Irina did to his finger, he was thoroughly pleased, honey. He was excited. He was trying to keep his, you know, emotions contained, but I could tell he was ready. Um, yeah, I think they just need practice, you know, practice, make perfect, you know, and just be vocal and say, okay, yes, that right there, that works for me. That right there does not. She even said that, you know, he uses his teeth too much. And so now I understand why she never liked it. Cause this man was over there munching on her. Like she was a bowl of kibble and bits. <laughs> He was over there in between her legs acting like he was eating some David sunflower seeds. I understand now why she don't like it. You got that lady, lady parts over there looking like the meat from a Philly's Delphia cheese steak. <laughs> a rain of coochie over there looking like a chopped cheese. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Hopefully they learn Jesus and next season they come back. And, you know, they didn't got that department together. But now I understand why uh, Jamie always mad. I be mad, too. That man is backed up. Irena, if you tired of that man's mouth, if you tired of him having an attitude, you got to throw that thing at him at least once a week. Girl, don't you know men be getting mad, honey? They be getting an attitude. And as soon as you throw that thing back on them several times, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he, he gonna be pleasant. You ain't gonna hear nothing from him. He gonna be laid up in that bed, watching TV, asking you what you need, what you want. All you gotta do is back that thing up at least once a week, girl. That'll shut him up. He gonna act right then. He ain't gonna be drinking as much. <laughs> that man gonna have a better attitude, girl. So it's the day of the Silva's Christmas party. And... Ashley gifts Irena with the letter D because not only is she getting the D from her husband, but now she feels comfortable enough to put the letter D on the word friend because now she really considers Irena a friend. And I was like, well, isn't this apropos that she would give her this on that night? <laughs> So, Joy and Carmen end up popping up at the party, honey, after saying that she was not coming. She did not let Ashley know she was coming. She simply popped up. Now, mind you, she technically had to come because this was the final cast party of the season. And if she wanted to get paid, she, she needed to come. But she didn't let Ashley know. So, she walks into the crib while Ashley is having a conversation with Irena and Sherelle about them squashing their beef and her being excited that they cool. And so she sees Joy walk by and she looks like, is that Joy? Did Joy just walk up in my house? So she goes over to Joy and was like, hey, like, I didn't know you was coming. And she was like, yeah, or whatever. I think me and you need to talk. Joy was all kind of wrongs for walking up in that lady house and not speaking because I watched it back several times when she and Corman came into the uh, basement area she was looking like off to the side but it was in their direction but she wasn't looking directly at them but as loud as they were talking I know you heard their voices like you heard their voices and anyway you didn't even go to look around and see where she is like she was wrong it's all get out for walking in that lady house and not speaking they go off to the side and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and Ashley was like you know I'm surprised you're here I text you you ignored me and Joy was like, I needed time to assess everything. I just hate the fact that you burned the bridge before it was built. And so Ashley was like, so the bridge is burnt? <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, girl, <laughs> the bridge is over. The bridge is over. <laughs> That's what Joy should have said. <laughs> Joy, however, said, you know, the bridge is under repair. You know, trust is big for me. And Ashley was like, trust is big for me. I didn't understand where all the riding for the Tylers, fake and phony came from. Joy in her confessional says, if you want to continue to believe that I said that, okay, I told you what it was and you still chose not to believe it. So now you want to just stay mad. This is all about Ashley wanting to be mad. And once again, semantics, you basically called them fake and phony. Now, the whole riding for the Tyler's part is what confuses me because based on the interviews that we saw, 
uh, that Carlos King did with Joy and Clifton so far this season and the interview that she did with Irena and Jamie, it was stated that she already had a relationship with them. So I'm confused because from the way Ashley is making it seem like on the show, like it was a situa situation where she befriended them all when she joined the show. And that's when they came friends. But based off the interviews that Joy and Raina and Jamie and Raina have, they have already were friends. So I'm confused about why she would feel some type of way about her saying that she rides for the Tylers. I guess it's a situation where she felt like, you know, you ain't riding for us. You know what I'm saying? However, Joy said to her in her face that I said I ride for the both of y'all. And when it comes to Ashley, it's literally a, a mean girl type of situation where you have to uh, include her. And if you don't, that solidifies that you're not my friend. And it's very childish, so childish. It's ridiculous. Like, why would you care if this person that you just met rides for you or not? Grow up. You don't even know that lady for real. Like, y'all crazy. Ashley says, I've apologized twice. There's nothing else I can do. I've apologized and you're like clap, clap and stomp, stomp because I can clap, clap and stomp, stomp with the best of them too. So Joy says, you know, no, we're coming to a common ground. The friendship we were building, we're no longer building that. <laughs> we can be cool and chop it up, but I'm not comfortable in the trust area. Now, as an adult woman if she would have said that to me, knowing what I did, all I can do is accept that and respect that. I messed up and these are the consequences that I now have to pay because I messed up. As an adult, you have the right to choose how you want to handle a situation. She was very clear. She was very concise about her feelings and not wanting to move forward with the friendship. Like I ain't got nothing against you. I just don't trust you now. So it, it ain't going to be like it could have been. You know what I'm saying? But I would have been like, I respect that. It's all good. And expected her to walk on up out my house <laughs> since we ain't cool. But I wouldn't have been tripping. But Ashley in her confessional says, I apologized twice. She said she needed time. So I stopped reaching out. Now here she is at my Christmas party saying we can be cool and chop it up. I'm good. Like, why are you mad? Why do you have an attitude because of how she decided to handle the situation? Like, grow up. <laughs> Okay, you don't want to be my friend no more. I messed up. Okay, I have to deal with that and move on with life. So Ashley says, that's where I'll leave it at. I brought you into this show. Not Jamie, not Raina. And Joy started laughing like, what? <laughs> like, excuse you? Like, when did this turn into you bringing me into the show like where that come from and once again that goes to show you like I've been saying that this was never about her being genuinely concerned or sorry for what she did this was all about Ashley patching up the guilt and the shame for doing something wrong to somebody it wasn't about making sure that this person that she'd hurt was you know okay and really understanding that she was remorseful it was about oh my god I did something and I need for her to forgive me so I can move on with life and we can move on and I didn't do anything wrong like I, she needs to not feel like she messed up and since joy didn't feed into her ego and her narcissism it's a problem because how dare you not forgive me <laughs> how dare you who do you think you are? So Joy was like, so you making it seem like you made me or something? <laughs> and Ashley was like, no, that's not what I said. And Joy was like, what, you made me and Clifton? Because we were on a show before you love. <laughs> and Ashley was like, you was on an effing game show. That's corny. And I was like, first of all, this was not a game show. And she was on television before you. And it's like what are we doing here because I thought this conversation was about the fact that she called y'all phony and fake because y'all are phony and fake and she's mad at you for retaliating by exposing the fact that she's already married 
Where did all of this come from about I brought you on to the show? Where did that come from? Where did that come from? Oh, that comes from I control you. And this is my show. I'm the queen bee. How dare you once again defy me? Like, how old are we? You are not Regina George, love. So Ashley and her DJ Quick Curls child was like, I pitched you twice for this show and neither you nor Clifton ever gave me so much of a thank you for doing it. Once I met y'all for whatever reason, y'all want to grab onto the tiles, which is fine. I don't give a F. Okay, well, let's break that statement down because it was so many contradictions in that. When she says that I pitched y'all twice for this show and neither you nor Clifton gave me so much as a thank you, like, so that's something that you've been holding on to. That's something that you feel some type of way about. And once again, plays into the how dare you, girl. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't even be here. Like the whole... I'm the queen bee of this thing situation going on. And then when she says, once I met y'all, for whatever reason, y'all want to grab onto the towels, which is fine. I don't give a F. Well, that's a lie. Because if you didn't care, you wouldn't bring it up. So you feel some type of way about that too. It's once again, it's like, you are my friend and you better ride for me, stick up for me, align with me, you know, uh, you know, side with me, whether I'm right or wrong. Like she's one of those type of women. And I am like, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> like, uh-uh, we are not in the fifth grade, love. No, we're not about to play these types of games. Like you're not going to treat me like I'm one of your minions. That's just because Alicia and you do that. Don't mean that other grown women are about to play that game where you're in my circle and you going to do what I say do. You ain't Evelyn Lozada or Shawnee. <laughs> oh Neil, like no been there seen that television show we don't want to see it again like girl have several so joy was like the tyler's were never asking for a thank you and you're asking for an effing thank you and she was like yes yes i am you wouldn't be here and joy was like you're saying you wouldn't be here you're saying that we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and ashley was like you wouldn't be on love and marriage dc joy was like b i don't give a f you want this show. Ashley was like, I'm going to tell you one time, I'm not nobody else. I'm not nobody else. Now, mind you, she in this girl face. And Joy was like, you want this show, Ashley. Ashley was like, and so do you, because if you didn't, you wouldn't be here. And I was like, well, touche. <laughs> <laughs> so Joy was like, I don't have to be here. And Ashley was like, then leave. So Joy takes her stuff to get ready to exit stage left with her candy cane in her hand. And as she's going around the table, she was like, no problem. A B don't F and make me. And Ashley then goes around the table and gets in her face and points her finger in her face. Now I rewound it several times. She put her finger in Joy's face and Joy then smacked her hand away. And Joy was like, don't put your hands on me. Well, she can put her hands on her, but she did get in her personal space once again and put her hand in her face. So, yeah, at this point, it's up and it's stuck. So the producers and everybody jump in between them. Joy was like, Clifton and I were already somebody, B. We didn't effing need you. Ashley was like, you was on a game show. <laughs> I'm like, girl, that is not the price is right. Stop. So, at this point, Joy's at the top of the steps being held back and was like, nobody knows you. They know quick. Don't nobody even know you, B. Joy in her confessional says, I'm making my way out the door. And the next thing I see is this curly head, barefooted troll stomping through the house. Now, I got to say, uh, Ashley, as far as this argument goes, she ate you up. She really honestly ate you up because it does look like you're trying to make your mark. And for the world to know you and solidify yourself as this reality star. And it's giving try hard. It's giving very much trying to be that girl. And if when you're that girl, you don't have to try that hard. It's just naturally there. It's just naturally there. You know what I'm saying? Like season one, I saw her for her works and I bigged her up. For the positive attributes that Ashley has. She's funny. She's quick with it. She know how to read. You know what I'm saying? She dresses well. She's a cute lady. Her hair be nice. But at the same token, 
She has a mean spirit and you can't hide that. It's always going to come out. It's always going to come out. So Joy leaves and Irena was like, Joy, wait a minute. So she goes behind her to check on her. So Ashley was like, and Irena, you can stay the F out too, since that's where you want to go. And it's like, girl, you don't control people. Like, <laughs> what is happening here? So Joy explains to Corman and Arena and Jamie what just happened and says that it's obvious that Ashley is lacking something at home that she ain't getting. And I was like, attention from her husband because he's always gone. <laughs> so um, at this point, Joy leaves and Arena goes back in the house to find out exactly what is going on because she's still very much confused. So she goes in the house and she's like, where is Ashley? And they was like, she downstairs. So she goes downstairs. Ashley's coming around the corner and she was like, what happened? And Ashley was like, Raina, get the F out my face. And I was like, ooh, ooh, this is what we doing? Now, mind you, as she was walking past Irena, Irena had like tried to grab her hand. And so she yanked her arm away and Quick was right there. He was like, baby, 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 like trying to calm her down as she's going up the steps. So he's trying to pull her back. Irena is like, what is going on? Like what? She trying to explain herself. And um, Irena was like I'm trying to check on you like what is what is happening and she was like uh you went to check on that beat in my effing house and Irena was like I was trying to see what was going on so Ashley was like you should have came to me girl oh my god so Irena was like I came to both y'all don't say that s to me and that's where they cut it off for to be continued and we'll see the um fallout from their argument when the season returns later on this year for season four in the next 10 episodes. Um, we saw in the trailer though, um, that they argue back and forth and almost, you know, well, not even almost, they threaten to fight each other, but nothing comes of it. And they back cool right here today, but I called it last season. This is what I predicted on my season one, episode three review. I don't know. I got a feeling at some point, Irena and Ashley are going to end up getting into it. I can already see it. Like Irena, I feel like, you know, is giving her grace because she's not trying to go to her because she is the oldest woman in the cast. And, you know, she wants to lead by example. But based off the first episode when Ashley brought up, you know, how much older Irena was compared to her and now the we're friendly ish comment I think that comments like that are going to wear on Irena at some point maybe not this season but by next season I can totally see Ashley and Irena end up getting into it because uh, Ashley is a lot to deal with it she do got a mouth in so I can see them getting into it as so I hate that my prediction had to come true, but it the writing was on the wall season one. Once I interviewed them and I learned that the Tylers and the Silvers were not friends before they started filming this show. They knew of each other, but they were not friends. So you start this brand new friendship on a reality show. No. It's either gonna go uphill or it's gonna go downhill. And their friendships aren't that solidified for their bond to be strong enough to withstand the pressures of reality television. Uh, this season alone, Ashley and Jamie been getting into it on Twitter. So I don't know where they're going to end up next season. Literally today, this Saturday on the season finale episode, Ashley tweeted that, it was their last day of filming for the upcoming season. She was like, she was tired. They've been filming since October. She was confused, bewildered, and all these things. So, yeah, it's going to be a roller coaster once we get these next 10 episodes coming up for season. Season three, hopefully they just give us 10 episodes of Love and Marriage Huntsville and leave us alone. I cannot take another 30-something episode season again. Uh, overall though, I'm going to give season two of Love and Marriage DC an A. I loved it. It was jam-packed. There wasn't any filler episodes. It was good from beginning to end. I think the casting of Sherelle and Black and Joy and Clifton was good, even though we really didn't get to get to know Clifton. 
I think Joy joining the show and Sherelle joining the show was needed. It gave the show that extra umph that it needed. Um, I'm so happy that Winter and Ashley uh, are cool enough now that they're, you know, doing things with each other outside of the show. I want to see that continue to blossom because I really honestly think that Ashley, Winter, and Arena could be a great threesome. I really honestly do. I like their dynamics. But, you know, Ashley, uh, you know, threatened last week to quit the show. So I don't know if she's going to come back after season three. I think that social media and the feedback from the audience may be getting to her. Plus the fact that she's getting into it with everybody, child. But, yeah, she uh, she has a warped um uh, view when it comes to friendship she really honestly does and maybe seeing herself on this show and seeing the feedback from the audience will help her with whatever insecurities that she has within herself that she feels like she needs to control people's emotions and their actions and their loyalty it's it's weird bro it's literally weird and i need for her to fix it asap okay however i love the season finale episode it was really good Y'all let me know what y'all thought about the season finale episode. Whose side are you on? Jo Joyce or Ashley? What do you grade season two of Love and Marriage DC? Let's talk. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell button. I love you guys and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.